Registered Phenomena Code 533 Object Class Gamma Purple Hazard Types Aggression Ballistic Grouped Sapient Aquatic Microscopic Titanic Containment Protocols Island, off the coast of Burma, is currently the only place where instances of RPC-533 have been located and destroyed. Other islands and coastal areas around the 1,000 km vicinity of the initial location have been scoured for wild instances, including ocean beds. So far, wild instances of RPC-533 have been terminated by ASF Rapid Response Team Bravo-1 Beachcombers. All sea traffic has been diverted away from island, on the pretense that the island has become infested with poisonous snakes. All wildlife, save for microfauna, have been exterminated to prevent contamination and the growth of any unchecked wild instances of RPC-533. Five juvenile instances of RPC-533 and several eggs have been contained at Site-018 for research purposes. Observational aquariums are currently housed in the five instances of RPC-533 that are to be separated from one another via glass barriers at all times. Subjects are to be fed fish carcasses, and under no circumstances is live food to be fed to RPC-533 specimens. Description: RPC-533 is the designation given to a species of anomalous crustaceans that, in their primary adult phase, roughly resemble haiki crabs native to Japan. Given enough resources, such as food, to sustain a substantial amount of growth, RPC-533 take on several physical changes, such as a light blue hue, the formation of a singular red eye within the center of their front carapace, an exposed brain composed of chitinous material, and the capability of expanding in mass and size when having consumed a considerable amount of sustenance. The tallest specimen on record having measured 15 meters in height. The life cycle of RPC-533 involves the adult instance laying several microscopic eggs within sandy beaches, usually those populated by warm-blooded animals, such as sea turtle breeding grounds, bird nesting areas, human recreational areas. The eggs of RPC-533 will get swept within the orifices of these animals most commonly via the ear canals, mouth, or nasal passage, and the natural body temperature will begin the incubation process. Eggs that have entered the body via other bodily orifices do not hatch. It has been theorized that through some unknown method, the eggs purposefully hatch inside the host head. Once the larvae of RPC-533 has successfully hatched inside the head of their respective host, they will begin to slowly feed on the tissue within the host's brain. If more than one egg is hatched inside the host's body, the young will attempt to cannibalize one another. In a turn of anomalous circumstances, the consumption of the host's brain by RPC-533, as well as the increased growth rate inside the head, will not cause the host to suffer any long-term effects associated with brain damage. And even the eventual consumption of the host's brain matter will not terminate the host. RPC-533 is capable of replacing the brain while feeding on it, as well as integrating with the host's nervous system. But the only symptoms, including mild but frequent headaches, nausea, and the occasional loss of some cognitive abilities for short periods, such as memory loss and loss of balance. If RPC-533 is to be removed during its feeding stage, the subject host will suffer from the loss of the consumed brain matter, and if a significant amount has been lost during consumption, will either suffer seizures and loss of motor, auditory, ocular, or respiratory functions, fall into a coma, or expire. It has been documented that for some reason, while the entirety of the brain is consumed by RPC-533 instances, the brain stem is left untouched, possibly to ensure nervous control of the host's body. Once the young had reached a critical stage within its growth cycle after a period of 18 months, it will rupture the head of the host, 
causing immediate expiration of the host, as the juvenile instance of RPC-533 will begin to search for sentient lifeforms, excluding microfauna to feed upon. It has been theorized that during the feeding process, the instance of RPC-533 will assimilate the brains of whatever lifeform it is consumed, as not only will the instance of RPC-533 will grow in size, but also intelligence. During this growth phase, RPC-533 will begin to form the aforementioned singular red eye, from which a concentrated electromagnetic radiation beam is emitted through high optical amplification that burns and incapacitates prey items for RPC-533 to consume, as well as melting and burning structures and obstacles at the highest recorded temperatures of 1510 degrees Celsius in order to get to its food. The outer carapace of RPC-533 instances is impervious to most projectile-based firearms. However, the eye of RPC-533 has been designated as a vulnerable point during termination protocols, as well as the joints between the legs. However, RPC-533 instances standing from 2 meters to 10 meters in height have shown a significant amount of strategic intelligence in conjunction with their size. The larger the specimen, the more intelligence it has gained, often employing methods to negate its weaknesses, such as covering itself in debris, as well as accounting for threats against its vital areas and acting accordingly. Moreover, fully grown instances have established RPC agents as primary threats and have identified traits, logos, and equipment of the RPC Authority, and will act with extreme aggression against these threats. Discovery. The Authority's presence around the East China Sea increased following a meteor impact event in 1963. The site is central to a string of crustacean-based anomalous phenomena dating back to the 19th century. During the search for further wreckages in Subura Island, Authority agents noted several distressed sea turtles, seabirds, and fish around the island, showing signs of irritability and loss of cognition for brief periods before a hatched instance of RPC-533 was discovered and attacked the agents. Following the initial contact with RPC-533, MST-Alpha-2 was contacted, and an ANV blockade was placed upon the island. The naval blockade soon concluded following the discovery and termination of several RPC-533 instances, measuring between 10 and 12 meters in height, attempting to breach into the island of Kyushu. It is believed that had MST-Alpha-2 not intercepted and terminated said instances, civilian casualties would have been exponentially high. It is still being determined how many wild instances of RPC-533 dwell within the waters around Burma, Bangladesh, or Thailand, and how big they are in size and number.